Really interesting, really fascinating. Um, <clears throat> I discovered a little bit of um, talk on an article talking about the different body types. I'm pretty sure I'm an endomorph. And when I looked into what that meant, it also it shed some light on the on on going all the way back to our ancestral times, you know, um, of the human being, and that certain um, certain body types like mine are really good at storing that. Absolutely, I'm really good mm. at storing. But that that had a that's got a the reason for that was at that time food was possibly scarce so my body just developed the ability to hold fat absolutely and keep it absolutely. for survival yeah so is that sort of all that, what you're so to? so that has quite a lot to do with it so we have a genet we're all genetically programmed mm. so we have this genetic program which is then influenced by our environment and so yes endo- endomorphic body types will be larger body types but there's some really great positives with being an endomorph Mm. because for example endomorphs tend to their fat cells tend to react differently than say an ectomorph so a skinnier person who gets fat so an endomorph has fat cells that are able to expand and fat cells that are able to make more fat cells. Mm. So when it comes to storing excess energy in the body, an endomorph can store that energy quite safely compared with an ectomorph Right. Who doesn't have that ability. And so then an ectomorph is more likely to become a diabetic or have toxic fat. So that's what you mean by an endomorph can store that fat safely. Yeah. It doesn't create. Yes. It's not likely to create disease. Yes, that's correct. Wow. Yeah. That's fascinating. Yeah. I'm really, really fascinated. <laughs> I was quite looking forward to having this chat. Um, so I guess sort of on the... You know, because there's a bit of stigma around the word fat and around discussing fat and all this sort of stuff. And I guess for me, I can see how or how sort of attending this online event that to, you, you're going to be running can um, break through all the all of those sorts of um, surface ways that we look at fat and really be able to discuss it and understand it from a genetic Absolutely. scientific Absolutely. ancestral point of view yeah. and, the, and, and then become empowered to some of the information that you're going to share yes I agree because everybody is a different body type and we're mm. not all made to mm. be the same and so you know like through the whole time I grew up you know it was all about achieving this um, model kind of image and this certain weight and that's been really um, disempowering for people. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, that's a terrible thing because we're not all meant to be like that and we're not mm. all meant to be that weight. Mm. So the way I want to look at fat is, is your fat healthy or is it unhealthy? Right. Now, if you've got healthy fat, well, then that's then that's great. And I can tell that by looking at your blood tests. So I can look mm. at your... Um, insulin and your glucose and your triglycerides and some other markers and I can say well hey look your fat is inflammatory your fat is likely to cause disease or hey look your fat is fine wow. and you're okay wow hmm. I um I don't, feel free to correct me I think because um, my memory fails me but I think I read about um, re- learning about possibly having an endomorph kind of body type I think I do I've got hips for weeks <laughs> and so I felt a bit empowered after I learned a bit more about how my body operates and, and what fat does and, and things like that but I think I also learned that we also have a bit of um, um, a power metabolism sort of furnace where we can fire it up and use it so you um, tend to be more um, you tend to have more fast twitch muscle fibre yes. so Endomorph body types tend to be strong people, fast people, um, wow. and and I think that's really important as well because once again, if we get into the whole exercise calories in versus mm. calories out thing, mm. we have all these people with your body type mm. out there trying to like run mm. marathons mm. and do all this endurance mm. training, 
because you think that's going to help you yeah. lose this weight. Yes. And in actual fact, it's completely contradictory to what yeah. your body actually needs. Yes, I completely understand that. And I think from the perspective of when you understand all of this stuff that you're sharing and will share and apply that to your body type, from that perspective, you also are then empowered to understand how best you can train um, for your body type. Absolutely. Um, 